morning guys welcome back to another quick tip Tuesday here on the channel so today we're gonna be talking about databases I know I know stick with me here it's not that much fun right but I do get a lot of questions about them sometimes because it's a little confusing on how does DaVinci Resolve like keep all these projects in a database what's that I, I don't know where does it keep it on my computer I, I don't know I don't know I got questions right so we're gonna jump into Resolve here and I'm gonna try and answer some common questions that I usually get about the databases. So the first thing to know is that you should keep your database on your internal hard drive on your machine. You don't wanna put it on an external drive because it's gonna run the best if it's on your internal drive. And I actually, I had that question when I got started too, I reached out to Blackmagic, I said, hey, I got one on an external drive, you know, I'm having problems, how come this isn't working? And they're like, oh, no, no, no. You wanna keep it on your internal drive so everything's gonna work the best and smoothest for you. So keep that in mind. Database goes on the internal drive. So next, the question I get is, where it, where's the database? I, I can't find it, where is it? So let's jump into Resolve. I'm gonna show you exactly how to find it, not only in DaVinci Resolve, but how to find it in your computer, in your file structure. Where is it? Where'd you put it? And if you don't know where you put it, where's the default location that DaVinci Resolve puts it? So let's check that out real quick. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve. It doesn't matter what tab you're in or where you are in the program. All you have to do is come on down to the little house icon down here at the lower right hand corner, which is your project manager. Go ahead and click on that. Once that opens up, you're going to get your project manager window. So this is where all of your projects live. Now, all of your projects are within the database. You can't go and grab just one of these project files without exporting it. All of those project files live in the database. Now keep in mind, that's not your media, it's not uh, your transitions and anything else that you might have as part of that project. It really just tells Resolve where to find everything because Resolve doesn't import any of your media, it just links to different places wherever you have it on your hard drive. So that's what the project file does. It tells it how to set everything up, what's in there, it links to all the things that it needs, it's not actually taking all of that media and your audio and music and all. it's not bundling all that up and putting it inside your database. So that's important to know. So on the left hand side of the window here, we can see I have two databases. This is that first one that I told you about that uh, I shouldn't have created on an external hard drive. But this is my local one that I have on my computer. Now, if you don't see this, there's this little icon right here. Click on that and that's going to show and hide your database. So if you only see this, Go ahead and click this little icon here and that's gonna open up your databases for you. So the next big question is, okay, that's where it is in Resolve, but where do I find it on my computer? I can't find it, I don't even know where it is. How do I find it? Let's get back to the project manager here. And in order to find it, simply right click on it and say reveal in Finder. Now, if you're on Windows, I'm assuming that this says reveal in Explorer, you know, same way it does with Finder here on a Mac because I'm on a Mac. So go ahead and click that and it should bring you over to the location of where that database is housed. Now, if I'm being honest with you, I don't know what all the stuff in this folder is. I just know that this is where the database is, but it's not like you can go and just grab the database and then go use it somewhere else. It doesn't quite work like that, at least as far as I understand. So the next question is, okay, how do I back up my database? What do I even do with it? I can't, do I copy it out of here in the file structure or what, in Explorer? No, what you gotta do is actually back it up from the project manager within DaVinci Resolve. I'll show you that real quick. So to back up your database, you just wanna highlight it and hover over this icon right here. Go ahead and click on that. It'll ask you where you wanna save it. And then you can go ahead and save your database. And if you look at the file name here, that's what it looks like. It's a dot, what is it, D-I-S-K-D-B. So that's what the file type is when it gets saved and backed up. So I recommend backing up anytime before you upgrade DaVinci Resolve. For example, we're going through a lot of beta versions with DaVinci Resolve 17 here. So before we even got to DaVinci Resolve 17, when I still had 16 installed on my machine, went ahead, backed up the database, because a lot of times when you move to the next version of the program, it updates the database and you can't go backwards. So if you got problems, you kind of out of luck then. So make sure you back it up before you upgrade DaVinci Resolve at all. That's just a good practice that I always follow by and I think you should too. Other than that, I just periodically back it up, maybe, I don't know, once a month or something like that if they're not making any changes. Uh, but it's good to do because if you lose everything, you're not gonna be a happy camper. I've talked to a lot of people, not happy campers when they lose everything. And the other question I get is, I didn't back it up through the project manager in DaVinci Resolve here, but can I just go find where it was on my hard drive, you know, that we just saw there, how to find it? Can I just go grab that and then just load it back up? And the answer to that question, I believe, is no. Uh, at least I don't know how to do it. Maybe you can do it. I don't know. But the only way that I know how to do it is to make these backups and then restore the backups. So 
That leads us into the next question, which is, okay, I'm moving to a new computer. How do I bring my projects with me? So what I would do is I would go ahead, I'd back up my database. I create that file, put it somewhere where I'm going to be able to access it on my new machine. And then I would go to my new machine, install DaVinci Resolve, and then put that file, say, on your desktop or somewhere where you want it to be. And then once you go into DaVinci Resolve, you can restore that database, and then you should be good to go. It should have all your projects and all the info in it. So let me show you how to do that real quick. So let's say I just installed Resolve. I don't have any databases or anything yet, or maybe you just created one to get it going, but you want to import the one that you've got. All you have to do is come to this icon right here and restore. You can go ahead and click on that, and then that will allow you to select any of your databases that you already have saved or backed up. So that's what I would do. I would back up my database, go to the new machine, do all that, and then restore it like I just showed you there in DaVinci Resolve. Another question that I get is, when I back up my database, why is it so small? I've got tons of projects and tons of media in there, and it, the database is small. So for me, for example, I've got a couple years worth of YouTube videos and other stuff in the same database. And when I back it up, it's about, what is it, 600 and 675 megs? So it's not even a gig. So it's not that big. And the reason for that is because it doesn't include all your media files. All that is separate, lives somewhere else on your hard drive. So make sure you're backing that up too in a different way. So that's why your database, when it gets backed up, is not huge. It's not a ginormous file because it's not including any of that media files. And the last common question that I get that I'm going to answer in this video is how do I know if my projects are getting backed up? When I back up the database, does it back up one of them? Does it back up all of them? I, I don't get it. What, what is it doing? So it's taking all the projects that are in that database. So all your projects, not just one, not two. You don't have to select projects or anything. It takes all those projects and backs them up because they're all part of that database. If you want to back up projects individually, well, that's a different story. There's a different way to do that. But uh, for backing up all of the project files here in the project manager and backing up that whole database, once you do that, it will include all of those project files. You don't have to select each one or do anything special with them. All right, guys, those are some common questions that I get about databases all the time, especially for people who are just getting going. It's confusing. It, there's a lot going on here in DaVinci Resolve. The learning curve is steep. But that's some of the common questions that I get. So if you didn't know the answers to any of those, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the little bell so you get notified when I put out another Quick Tip Tuesday. And if there's anything that you guys would like to see, be sure to leave a comment down below. And uh, maybe it'll be included in Quick Tip Tuesday. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.